Let's get good. I am the Gamer Under Development, and this is Team Fight Tactics. I have not played this in a little bit, folks, so it'll be it'll be fun to get back into it. I did have a run the other day where I did like Space Pirates and Celestial, and it worked out really, really well, which was nice because I've always been a fan of Space Pirates this season, but they haven't always been the most functional or strong uh, trait to really run with. But I think they're really good right now. I think they got a little bit of a boost. I went and looked at some of the patch notes, and like they got a four point or a four trait boost where you get a 25% chance at an additional item with them now instead of a 20% chance. Ooh, this is Galactic Armory. I'm not even sure what that actually means, but alright. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd like to get Graves here. He's also got a rod, which is fine. Totally happy with that. Now, it's not really my intention to keep Graves with that rod. I'd rather replace that. Oh. Okay. That's what Galactic Armory means. All right, then. So we have a Guardian Angel to start off with and a Zeke's Herald. The Zeke's Herald did get nerfed a little while back, so it doesn't have as many hexes that it boosts, but it boosts less hexes by more attack speed, which is actually really, really strong early on. Who should have Zeke's Herald? in a barrel. I have Zeke's Herald right here, but I'm not going to say anything, because I'd rather they see it when we bust it out on them. Oh, and a Ginsu's Rage Blade here as well. That's that's actually a really nice early start here. Oof. Okay. So. We have some interesting decisions here. Like, we could pick up two Malphites and be really close to getting a third. We could pick up a Sniper. I think what I'll do is I'll grab the double Malphites here, because then if we get a third, we have a silver already, or a level two already, and that would be a really, really strong start. I honestly think we might switch into Rebels if that were to happen. Obviously, I can't say that will happen. I would rather it not, to be honest. I'd rather sell both of these Malphites next round and be able to sell Graves and pick up a new Graves. Uh, grabbing a Darius would be nice, but I don't think there's any chance of that at the moment, so... Yeah. This world I would rather move... Oh. Road to okay, conquest. so the game has decided, y'all. The game has decided that we're going to get a Malphite. Uh, so we're going to use Malphite as our tank early on here. We can put another unit out there. The only question is, which one do we want? And I feel like we're going to take Caitlyn here. It's for a little bit of extra damage. So now we've got a Malphite up front and a Caitlyn behind him, which is really, really solid. Uh, we don't really have a good situation to use Zeke's Herald in just yet. If we had one more backline unit that... Uh, that would benefit well from attack speed, we could use Zeke's Herald there. Uh, but we also picked up a whole bunch of stuff here, so that's nice. Hey, hey, what is this? Okay, so, so the game has decided that it's just going to give us random stuff. Like, I'm not really seeing too much in the way of things that combine well here. Uh, we do have Nico, who's a protector, along with... Yeah, I mean, so there's there's some protector synergies going on. We don't really have a Vanguard synergy. We don't really have an Infiltrator synergy here. Uh, it might actually be better to just put Nico and Rakan out here, but I don't think that's actually what I'm going to do. I'm going to let this first round kind of go. I will hold on to Syndra for the moment because we also have Star Guardian Nico. I probably could have kept our other Star Guardian and gotten us to three Star Guardians here. But I don't know if we'll need it. I, I feel like we have a really strong offensive team here. Like, if we get this shot right here with Caitlyn, that's probably it. Oh my gosh, no it's not. We just barely lost that round. Uh, okay, so with, with the Zeke's Herald, I could have potentially gotten things going a little bit better there. Uh, the primary thing here is we need to wait for four units to really get the best use out of that Zeke's Herald. Wow, and the game is just, like, talk about mixed messages. We're getting handed so much stuff, but like none of it really flows well together. Uh, I guess we could go for Star Guardian here and ditch our Space Pirate plan. That's definitely an option. I think for right now, what we're going to do for sure, though, is we're going to put out our Protectors. We're just going to go Protectors and then Malphite for Muscle, I guess. I really don't want to keep Malphite, though. We're not getting enough Rebels to really back him up anyway. Uh, but he is a two-star here, and he is a big, beefy boy, so we'll let him tank for us for the moment. And in the meantime, we're just going to kind of let our bench sit where it's at and see where we can get here. Um, 
even if we sold everything on our bench, well, actually, if we sold Syndra, we could get up to 10 gold here really quickly. That might actually be worth. So five gold right there, and then the Malphite. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's sell up. Let's commit a little bit. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna commit to trying to push for my Space Pirate Celestial Sniper build. That being said, if we don't get anything to reinforce that next round, then we'll just have to go from there. This isn't terrible. We got another Caitlyn here. We got another Malphite, because the game is dedicated to giving us Malphite. So we could do this, and then put a Zeke's Herald on Caitlyn, but that's dangerous because we might end up keeping her, and I don't know if I want a Zeke's Herald on her forever. It's now or never. Uh, let's do that. Oof. This is just rough, guys. This is just rough. I'm gonna grab Lucian as a blaster here, so we have a blaster synergy. Because we could take advantage of Blaster with Zeke's Herald really easily. But Lucian is also cybernetic, and we don't have a ton of cybernetic going here. We could get a Brawler Synergy going with Vi and Malphite, though. Maybe we do pick her up. <laughs> it's one of those games where the, the game has decided to just give us sort of random assort assortments of things. And I'm actually okay losing up until now. Like, this is kind of fine. It means that we're going to get the advantage on our picks in the next round. So we want to be looking at things that we could pick into the belt rather nicely. Uh, another belt isn't a terrible idea here. But I'm also not opposed to grabbing, say, the uh, big iron rod or needlessly large rod. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's get the needlessly large rod Lucian here. Because uh, with that... Oh, I should have grabbed that Darius, actually. Well... No, I mean, items are more important than than champs, in a way. Uh, so we got the needlessly large rod on Lucian, which means that we could put Lucian out with that, give him the recurve bow so that he's got Ginsu's Rage Blade, um, and then put Graves on the other side and give the Zeke's Herald to Caitlyn. And that would actually give us a lot of attack speed in the back row, and we would still have Malphite up front tanking for us. If we get one more unit slot, we could go ahead and put Vi in tanking for us as well. Okay, here we go. Now we're getting some of those Celestial Protectors that I wanted, so I think I'm actually going to dump her. I'm going to grab Graves, I'm going to grab Zin Zhao. I'm going to put Zin in to get that other Protector bonus back. But I think right now what we might end up doing is just going for that Lucian, Graves, Caitlyn synergy that I was talking about. Uh, so we go here, we go here, and Morella Nomicon is actually not bad with Graves now that I think about it. I don't know if I want to commit to that right now, though, so I'm not going to. It might be a little overcommittal to do that right now. Uh, but Graves with the Morella Nomicon isn't terrible because his ability does hit multiple enemies. So not only would it reduce their ability to hit, it would also do damage over time if we put Morella Nomicon on him. Which isn't a bad idea. Okay, so we win that round. This is mercy. Starting to kind of get back into it a little bit here. We do have Celestial Protectors on bench. Yeah, we're, we're in a pretty decent spot here. I'd like to pick up an Ash soon, though. That would An Ash here would be a very big difference maker. Uh, instead of going Vi Brawler, we could also go Blitzcrank Brawler here, and that would allow us to move into Chrono instead of into Cybernetic. Uh, the only problem with that is that Lucian is Cybernetic, so I don't know. I think we'll pick up Blitzcrank here, but we won't necessarily put him on board. Next turn, we're definitely going to level up, though, because we want to put another unit out. We can get Brawler Synergy here one way or the other, so... There's really no reason not to. Oof. Okay, I'd really, really like to pick up a second Lucian here to get a little bit more... Uh, or a third Lucian, rather, to get a little bit more going with our... our damage units. None of them are leveled up, and that's kind of costing us here. Because we're not able to, like, they've got two level 2 tank units. We're not able to push through their their kind of beefy tanks. Uh, and I'm sure that that Blitzcrank didn't help either. Probably pulled someone into a nasty position. Alright. Hey, there we go. Wow, this is, this is actually a really good draw for us overall. Um, if we do upgrade Lucian here, then we're very much committing to Cybernetic. And that's not necessarily something I want to do. I'm going to take Darius here. And I might also take Cassidy. Yeah, I'll take Cassidy here. I'll take Darius. 
I'm actually not gonna commit to Lucian right here. The main reason is because if we commit to Lucian right here and then we sell him, we're actually not going to get back as much gold as we spent to get him. Although I guess we could theoretically make up the difference with our Space Pirate synergy. So I don't know, maybe we do go for this just to get that early boost. Oh, it won't let us buy it right now anyway without selling something. Uh, we'll sell Vi here. We'll take Lucian for sure. It's a slight gold waste to do that, but it's only a very slight gold waste to do that. Uh, yeah, we'll absolutely upgrade her. Okay, so now we're going to change around the things that we're doing. Uh, we have the money. We'll go ahead and upgrade. We're going to pull him off. We're going to put out Rakan. We are going to put out Zinzal. I have these three in the back line still, but we may actually incorporate Darius. Well, if we do Darius, we lose our blaster synergy for right now. Um, so maybe not. Maybe next round we'll swap in Darius and our Kassadin and get our Mana Reaver going. That'll also give us more Celestial. Yeah, I think that's fine. Oof. We're just getting rolled here. Oh yeah, that's that's not gonna help right there. That's just rough. Uh, it's honestly okay though. You want to get rolled early on because if you don't get rolled early on, you get rolled. You can get rolled later. Like I don't mind getting rolled here until this next carousel. We can take damage early on, and it's not as bad as taking damage late. So right now we're really just using this opportunity to build up our income and to focus on what we want to be doing late game. So there's like nothing for us right here. Really, we could go into Infiltrators, but we've already seen people in Infiltrators, so we don't really want to do that. Uh, we could swap in Darius here and just go for Space Pirate Synergy to make more money, and I don't think that's necessarily a bad idea here. Uh, we are trading out a level 2 unit, though, in doing that. However, I mean, this might... So now I feel really bad about actually doing the uh, Lucian upgrade there because we didn't really need it, and now it feels like even more of a waste. Uh, and we can sell our Malphite here, too. Now we're up to 50 gold, so we have full gold income. Uh, we may lose this round. It's really not the end of the world if we do, though. Okay. Like I said, we have plenty of health to burn. It's not really an issue. As long as we kill some of their units to reduce damage, I'm not really worried. <laughs> I love that Shaco does the worm. It's great. It's great. We have a really, really solid solid gold income, and if you look at the income over here, like, it's not as good. And their units are not that significantly better, either. So it's not like we're in a really bad spot here. We do have Morella Nomicon on, on sort of pick here. Hmm. Definitely take Blitz. I think we're going to sell Graves here so that we can get that needlessly large rod back. Uh, and then we're going to roll. Oh, hello! Hello, hello. Oh, I went under 50 here. I shouldn't have done that, but it'll be okay. Um, so now we actually have really good synergies. This is kind of what we were after in the first place. Uh, I probably should have got Jace out there right now, but I think what we're going to focus on next is just taking advantage of our gold advantage here to get to the next level. We have enough units that we can make use of the extra slot on board. Uh, so that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to focus on getting that. I still don't know how I feel about Caitlyn having Zeke's Herald right now. Like, it's fine right now, but late game, we're going to want to put Caitlyn down in a corner on her own. And at that point, it's not going to be beneficial for her to have it. So I may actually sell our level 2 Caitlyn, which seems, like I said, it's kind of wasteful. But we'll get the same amount of gold back, and we can probably buy our way back into her pretty easily here. Okay, let's see. What do we need? Uh, I wouldn't mind... Oof, this is tough. I don't know what I wouldn't mind here. I know that I would like to get an Ezreal, though. So I'm going to go ahead and snatch that Ezreal up right there. Uh, the reason I'm getting Ezreal is because if we get Ezreal and we have Blitz here, then we can get Chrono 2 along with a Blaster Synergy for Graves. Now, that is going to be a little bit later because that's two more units on board. If we can only get one more unit on board here, it's going to be Kassadin because that'll give us Mana Reaver. Um, actually, I oh, I made such a huge mistake here, guys. Such a huge mistake. I didn't think about the fact that Caitlyn is Chrono. So we didn't really need... I guess we do still get the Blaster Synergy, though. So it's not terrible, it's just not really good. Um, okay, so if we put Ezreal out... Well, we're not putting Ezreal out right away anyway. 
that puts us about one level away from getting where we want to be. And here it might actually make sense just to put out Wukong. Yeah, I think we do this. There we go. That gives us our Vanguard Synergy. So we take away our Celestial, but we get Vanguard Synergy. We get Space Pirate 3. We also get Chrono, which is really nice. This is a, a decent build for mid-game. Uh, I can't wait until our next turn, though, because then we're going to bounce out one more unit. And at that point, we can get some really, really strong stuff going. Uh, it occurs to me that we don't actually even need Graves out there right now. Because Space Pirate 4 is a little ways away, but Space Pirate 2 is already here. Everybody's really weak there, and we didn't kill them, which actually feels really bad, because it means we took a lot of extra damage that we didn't need to take. Uh, and there is the Irelia that I could have potentially taken. Okay, so rethinking where we're at. Uh, we definitely want to go to the next level. We definitely want to bring in... We want to take out Graves... Who do we want to bring in? We want to bring in both of our protectors. I mean, honestly here, like... What do we want to do with these? I guess we could go like that. Pull these back a little further. Um, and then after that, it's really just a matter of considering what we want to roll for and upgrade. We could just start sinking money into the next level up. That's not a bad idea. But I do feel like we could get some value out of rolling here. So I'm going to roll for this turn and just kind of see what we can come up with. Getting another Graves there is excellent. Uh, yeah, I'll take a, a level 2 Graves here. Nothing great coming up after that. Oh, okay, we're going to lock that one. Because I don't want to go below our gold economy here. But I do want that Darius, and I wouldn't mind having another Graves. The goal here is to just start jumping Darius up. Because Darius is going to be a heavy, heavy hitter for us. Um... We really just want to get as much as we can built on him. Hmm. Not getting that great of luck here. Oh, there's another Blitz, though, and another Graves. Oh, and a Jin. Okay, we'll lock here because we do actually want the Jin for that Sniper uh, bonus. That being said, we're okay right here. We should win this round pretty easily. The fact that these guys are kind of infiltrators and they jump to our back line shouldn't be super relevant. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Good job, guys. Just clearing the board. Okay, so now we have a lot more items to work with. Um, and this is actually getting to a point where it's kind of interesting and worth looking at potentially selling some units here. We don't really need that blaster synergy from Ezreal, but it's not a terrible one. I think we sell Ezreal. Well, we could go for Chronos, too. Oof, this is tough. I'm going to sell Ezreal by the Blitz, <clears throat> and then by the Jin, by the Graves, roll a little bit. I think after this round, we're going to start dedicating our money just to leveling up, though. Okay, there's a Kassadin. So now we have a rank 2 Kassadin. And if we wanted, we could get an Aurelia here, but I don't know that we need that. I'm going to lock this, though, because I wouldn't mind having that Recon. Now we're getting to the point where losing these rounds is actually kind of painful, so we've got to swap things around a little bit so that we don't keep losing. That's not a terribly difficult thing here, though. Getting Cassidy out on board will probably help a lot. Okay, so let's just dedicate some money to that. We can also buy Recon. Um, and now that we have that going on, kind of feel like we put Graves back out. We will lose our Vanguard Synergy doing that. But we can also do this. And then we have Cassid in here, who's actually a good, a good play as well. The only question is... Do we want Cassid in out right now? We probably should have put Cassid in out right now just to get Mana Reaver going. Um, we could also put Jin out to get Sniper going, to get that extra damage. But I think right now, getting Blitzcrank out there is actually going to be one of the biggest improvements we can make. Simply because he should rip their most damaging units. Oof. Ow. This is not going as well as I'd hoped. Okay, so we really got to pick it up here. I don't know if we just want to hard roll and try to catch up like that. But we can't keep taking damage. Like, we're at the bottom of the charts right now. Which is crazy, because we have a ton of good synergy. 
I think what I'm going to do is just go for it. I'm going to go for the level up here. That way we can put out another unit. Uh, who that other unit should be, though, is a little bit tougher to choose. I think going Sniper 2 here is fine. Uh, I think pulling somebody to the corner with Blitz is also fine. And I think we really just need our next level up as soon as possible. Uh, while we're at it though, we could also begin putting some more items on people. That's something I haven't really been doing and should have. Uh, let's go ahead and put a Guardian Angel on Jin. So that at least our heavy damage dealer can kind of come back and do some extra. Oof. Yeah, this is this is a rough one right here. Ouch. Alright, so we didn't take as much damage though. Like we're not in an unrecoverable position here. We are hurting, but we're not in an unrecoverable position. Oh, that would be nice. Give me the gangplank. I'll actually just flat out take the gangplank here. I think we might just replace our hmm. So now it gets tougher because we definitely want to have Chrono. We definitely want to have our pirate bonus. Uh, we'd like to keep snipers. Not sure what we give up to get there, though. Hmm. That's rough. I mean, we could give up Mana Reaver. We don't need Mana Reaver. It's just a nice bonus. So I think what we'll do is we will pull him off. Uh, we don't actually need Blitz for the Kronos. And technically, we could go ahead and put out... Well, I mean, honestly here, I'm just going to dump money because we're low on health. Uh, and we already have quite a few strong units. It's just a matter of getting them all on board. That seems okay. Uh, we do definitely want to get... Some other items out though. He's already got a belt, so let's give Gangplank the Morellonomicon, because that way he'll put a burn effect on everybody that gets hit by his ability, which is not a bad idea. Uh, and then we could definitely use some more items on our other units here, but as it stands right now, everybody's doing okay. We're actually okay, so that was good. That was good. Everybody kind of survived there for a minute. All things are possible. So I want to take a look at Jin here real quick, because I can't remember if his ability auto crits. Four shot, Jin deals 244% damage. Okay, so it's not technically an auto crit. Uh, which is unfortunate, because I would have preferred it to be an auto crit. Ooh, we could get rid of her and go over to Celestial Snipers. But that would still only give us three Celestial, so it's not a great bonus. Yeah, I mean, right now, this actually seems pretty solid. We've got Space... Oh, we don't have Space Pirate 4. How do we not... Okay, because we need to get... Jace out there as well. Uh, I do want to look at our other potential items, though. That's that's something to consider for sure. I know we have a ZZ Rock portal here. There we go. Uh, so the ZZ Rock portal should probably go on a tank unit that is dying frequently, but can then provide additional value. Oh, don't lose this round. Come on, Jin. You got it, buddy. You got it. Do your Jinny thing. All right, cool. So, ZZ Raw Portal needs to go on a tank that can give us additional value when they come through for us. Um, we could lose Protector 2 here to gain Mana Reaver 2. Yeah, let's do that. So we're going to lose Protector and we're going to gain Mana Reaver but keep our Celestial. And the other exchange rate for that is that we're going to get Vanguard 2. Um, I really... Regret having... It's now or never. This is interesting here. Hmm. I regret having the uh, Zeke's Herald on her now because it kind of fixes her position on the board and it's not a very good place right now. I'd rather have them in corners. Her and Jin in separate corners here. Uh, let's see. Oh, lovely. There's another Guardian Angel. That's going to be great. Let's go for a Guardian Angel on Gangplank here. Uh, I think we're actually gonna... Whoop, that's not what I wanted. Go back. I think we're gonna sell that Caitlyn. Put out a new Caitlyn. Corner them. 
Uh, Gangplank can go right here. You can give him the Zeke's Herald. I think that's perfectly fine. Um, what else do we want to do here? I know we had a ZZ Rot portal. The ZZ Rot is the belt and the attack thing. I think we'll put that on to Jace, since Jace is probably going to... Oh, too late. I didn't get it out in time. Uh, Jace, I had a feeling, was going to die very, very quickly for obvious reasons, so it made sense to get that out on him. Ooh. And this might be our last round here. Ooh, that's that's not fun. This planet will be okay, we are just criminal. barely alive here. Just barely alive. Uh, this is going to be a good time for us to really, really start pushing the items on our units. Oh, we could get a... If we could level Gangplank here, that would be huge. Uh, the same could be said for leveling. I think I'm going to sell Blitz here. Basically, leveling any of our units that aren't quite there yet would be helpful here. If I do that, just open a slot. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, okay. So this is this is coming along quite nicely. I'm going to go ahead and give him the ZZ Rot. And I'm going to give Wukong here. I'm trying to give him an item game. I'm going to give him Warmogs so that he can kind of stay out there for a little bit longer. And then after that, we might give him Frozen Heart next round. But for right now, we just need the, the squad to survive this round. If we can survive this round, we have a chance. Oh, we're dead. We're dead. Darn. Darn. Okay, so we were starting to come back there. I think we got a really, really rough start, and I kind of forced the build, and maybe that wasn't the right answer in this particular instance. But we started to kind of come back. It was just really rough figuring out where we wanted to swap and how we wanted to switch. And the problem with doing like a lot of different small synergies like this is that you have so many choices that sometimes it can be a little overwhelming. So all in all, I mean, we did sixth place for not having played in a bit. I'm okay with that. Like we, I really wish we would have made it one more round because I feel like we were starting to turn it, really starting to turn it around right there. But uh, that was a fun game, and we will try this again next week. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to practice a little bit uh, between this week and next week, and then next week maybe we'll do a rank game and see how that goes. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. If you did, make sure to go ahead and give us a like or subscribe to the channel, and we will see you next time. Bye!